Hey guys, I found a device that I hadn't had time to capture and I've been playing around with it here just to see how intuitive it is to pick it up, never seen it before, and start running with it. You can see the port layout in the back side. You got your defibrillator ports, your pacer ports, your ECG. Obviously that's because it's also a simulator. And down here you can see the screen is color, it's large, it's uh, probably about four inches by two and a half inches tall. And uh, there's a series of options at the bottom. So we have regular defib mode, we have AED mode, which my phone is not really picking up, there it goes. And uh, then we got the simulator mode, and I don't know what this one is, let's check it out. Okay, pacer, okay. So I've, I've been playing around with the menus to see how fast and how intuitive it is to, to fly through some of these. So let's just go through some of these guys right off the bat. And you can see the description. Oh boy, there it is. So you can see normal sinus rhythm and the second one right here, F3 is gonna be your, um, your arrhythmias. But here's one of the cool things. It says what the arrhythmia is and then down here, there's a graphical representation of the arrhythmia. How crazy is that? So here, this is, could not only be just a training aid, but you know exactly what you should be seeing on your ECG. So if you have uh, analytical ECG, you can actually uh, verify what the analytical ECG thinks the, the arrhythmia is. Kind of a cool thing. So I'm gonna flip through some of them. Premature ventricular contraction. Hygemony, trigemony, PVCs. That's very cool. Let's go back. So I was playing around in the AED mode, and first off, look at this. It gives you a big old graphic, tells you where to plug in, kind of simple. You have to hit enter. When you press enter, it goes right into your AED mode. It's ready to do some shocks, okay? And you can adjust your load. But when you test AEDs, one of the things that is always a pain on these analyzers is flopping through regular sinus rhythm and then flopping to an arrhythmia to get it to shock. So you can see right here, again, it's got a graphical representation of the arrhythmia. You can flop through it and see if your AED is gonna shock. How cool is that? Anyway, you guys, that's the Rigel Unipulse 400. Battery powered, you see that? I just happened to see it as I'm walking by and I thought, man, I better nab that while I can. What a cool little device. All right, thanks guys.